The Democratic National Convention four months away and today Chicago City Council paved a path for police to create security boundaries and rules specifically for the area around DNC activities. CBS 2's Lauren Victory explains the impact on thousands of people who live near the United Center. Good girl. Jawan Jackson owns every single day dog training and lives near the United Center. Climb. His talented furry friend wasn't the only spectacle around here recently. I came out with my dogs one day and I saw police, FBI, um, and two other uh, governmental organizations. All right, let's roll. He didn't ask, but they were probably canvassing the neighborhood with flyers about the Democratic National Convention. Information was also passed out in the South Loop near McCormick Place last week. Residents and business owners in an approximately two block radius to the north, south, east and west from McCormick and from the United Center will need to abide by special rules for a nine day stretch beginning August 17th. Chicago police received the OK from City Council on Wednesday to enact these DNC security boundaries and to establish a ban on certain items and activities within the so called buffer zone. Guns and large bags will be some of the things prohibited. Also on the no-go list, bikes and scooters, tents and balloons. Much to Jackson's surprise, animals will not be permitted in the secure area. Police have said that's for the dog and dog owner's safety. It doesn't bother me too much because I have a yard, so I'm a little bit more flexible with then that. Then things know. sunk in for the dog trainer. So do you think they're not going to let me use this field right here? This is going, okay, all right, then it, it could be a, a slight inconvenience then, if that's the case, for sure. Manny Cope and the barbershop he co-owns are on the cusp of the buffer zone on Ashland. I think it's going to be busy, but probably going to be pretty hectic too. Going to be getting, getting in, getting out, getting to lunch. The extra rules will affect him and his customers, but overall, he doesn't think it'll cut into business. Probably going to be the safest people in Chicago that week, you know, so no, I'm cool. Unless things get really hairy, the barbershop won't be closing down. Other businesses like this child care center tell me they're still waiting for more information before deciding if it'll stay open. Reporting on the windy near west side, I'm Lauren Victory, CBS 2 News. The Secret Service did not directly comment on the buffer zone ordinance, telling CBS 2 its security plans and prohibited items list are still being worked on.